Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins, the Closing Market Minute. Soybeans and corn are both lower on Tuesday, seeing pressure from the drop in crude oil and continued demand uncertainties. For soybeans, a lot of those are connected to China. China has bought considerably more U.S. soybeans than they did at this time last year, but they continue to focus on Brazilian soybeans and they haven't met their phase one trade agreement purchase number. For corn, some of that's connected to the ethanol use estimate. USDA did lower that projection last week, and again, crude oil took another dive on Tuesday. Wheat finished lower. Kansas City led the way up on Monday, and it led the way down on Tuesday. 62% of this year's U.S. winter wheat crops in good to excellent condition, steady with last week, and up two points from last year. Live and feeder cattle both finished higher and oversold signals in a sharply higher midday move in box beef. Direct cash cattle markets were quiet, with a few asking prices at 108 Live. And hogs ended the session mixed on production uncertainties linked to the spread of COVID-19, general consolidation trade, and the mixed fundamentals during the session. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.